Hey guys, this is Hallie with Backfishing. Thank you for joining me in this episode of how to cure salmon eggs for fishing. My ingredients today are, is gonna be borax, sugar, and non-iodized uh, salt, sea salt, okay? I'm gonna do two batches, um, one with more salt in it and one with uh, a little bit of sugar in it. So I get the, the two uh, batches. Some fishermen say that uh, they tend to be drawn to the saltiness of the eggs and if you fish coastal waters then they're looking for more sweet uh, so that's why I'm gonna do the, the sugar but before that I started curing my eggs by drying them about 12 to 14 hours overnight when you want to prepare the skin to to cure it you need to take out the blood because the blood kind of messes up uh, it deteriorates the, the whole skin so as you can see here uh, basically all the blood vessels are, are around the egg sac and you can just push the blood out okay that's basically what makes the, the skein uh, go bad is the blood so if we can just you know push the blood out from the veins here as much as you can after we, we do this then we can start putting on the cure and I use the uh, the Nate's bait cure all right, we've taken out uh, most of the blood from the veins, guys. The next step of the process is uh, drying them at room temperature. But before we do that, we have to butterfly it. And this is how to butterfly it, right here. opens up just like that. That one's nice. Butterfly. Do this one. All right, here you guys, uh, here's the uh, eggs that I've um, tried out just at room temperature. Um, I thought they would spoil because you know, you, you normally think that anything that le you leave out just spoils. But if you smell it, it, it doesn't really smell at all. It doesn't, uh, it just dries it out. So, um, you know, when we put the cure on, it, it'll be a more of a dryer and it'll stay on the hook uh, a little longer like maybe two or three casts, it'll still be nice. Here's the, the product right here. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a little bit dry. So now we're gonna um, put the, the, the rub on it, the, uh, the cure, and um, let's start it. All right, here you go, guys. Here's the, uh, I'm wearing gloves, okay? Because um, salmon seem to be a little bit more uh, susceptible or sensitive to human scent, okay? So anyways, let's uh, do the sugar, which is this one. Okay, just gonna swish around, you know, this right here. Two to one ratio, okay, because of this is not that, that much, right? Okay, just sprinkle it a little bit like that. Okay, so I'm gonna just work it in there like this. Okay, this is the sugar. We want it in between the rows. When you split this, the eggs kind of, they they actually kind of grow like this, okay? They're in rows, okay? And you want to get it in between the egg rows, okay? So that's what you're doing. So you're just massaging it, okay? They're pretty durable, uh, durable. So definitely, you still want to be careful, but you know, I got the borax and the sugar in here. The borax makes it a little bit more, um, acts like a preservative. Here's the row that I was talking about. 
see here's the eggs okay here's one row and then here's another row right there and that's another row and that's where you actually cut with your scissors if you want to bait it up okay so nice and shiny okay what's going to happen is the um the cure is going to dry it up okay when you, we put it in the bag it's going to start to liquefy a little bit and then in about um, 12 hours it's going to do the opposite it, it, it's going to suck all the juices into the egg it's it's uh, what what happens when you're curing it okay all right it's, it is starting to uh, you can see the moisture it's starting to get really shiny now okay looks really good Okay, so I'm just gonna add this all into it. That's perfect, okay. Right there, just working, working it into, okay, this is the borax and sugar one, okay. Starting to uh, liquefy already, so what I'm going to do is going to put it in a Ziploc bag, okay? I'm going to carefully... You know what? I, what I'm going to do is actually cut it in little portions, okay? Maybe four fingers width, something like that. So there could be a row of eggs, a row of eggs, and I can use two fingers to cut, and I can use that for the bait. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the row. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go, we'll go four, four fingers, which is about that. Okay, we'll shove it in there. Okay, we'll do another one. So we'll get a row here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to try to cut in between the rows so that we can utilize a bigger yield, okay, instead of destroying the eggs, okay? And that's good. All right. So let's let's put that in there for a little bit, okay? All right, that's the sugar one. All right, let's put this away and let's work on the salt borax and the cure, okay? work the cure into the row all right okay there's the rows again you can see that it's beautiful okay just gonna do that in it, massage it a little bit here. Okay. That's looking good. Let's do the back side. This one looks really good. I, most of the blood came out on this one. So that's a beautiful looking eggs right there. When you guys cut this out of the uh, out of the fish, okay, from the stomach, it really looks like like a like a almost like a taco, really, and with the skin with the skin being like that, it's holding it together like this. So when you butterfly it, it comes out like that, okay. You just gotta cut the middle, okay. That's what you do. All right, just massage that. And then put the rest in there. Yeah. That's enough cure, I think. Yeah, that's plenty. All right, guys, I've just pulled this uh, the eggs out of the uh, refrigerator. And um, as you can see, there's some moisture that has been pulled out the eggs. You can see that, right? Right there. 
So um, we're gonna work the uh, the cure into the eggs again. You know, just make sure they're evenly distributed. All right, it's looking really good actually. Okay, this is my salty salty egg brine. Okay, all right. Let's do the other one. Okay, that's you can see how much uh, liquid has been drawn out of the eggs okay so we're gonna shake it up make sure it's evenly distributed this is my 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 sugar brine okay and I was saying that maybe they're looking for that sweeter taste or something like that this that scent um, and then when they go up river like closer to where they're going to be laying their eggs um, maybe seeking a little bit more salty cure okay so anyways, I'm going to do this uh, two or three more times and then in the morning when uh, the process is all done, uh, when I leave this overnight, we can uh, dry it a little bit with, uh, pat it dry with um, some paper towels. Once we freeze it, then we can vacuum pack it. That way we don't crush the eggs. Okay. Um, we can also just leave it also in the refrigerator for maybe two two months or something like that and it'll still be good to fish alrighty good luck out there I hope this information was um, helpful you know I do watch other YouTube videos and there's a whole bunch of great uh, information out there so don't just watch mine but see other uh, videos on how to cure eggs and and pretty much people have pretty much the same kind of uh, procedure but you know here and there, people do a little bit different uh, styles. So anyways, thanks for joining me again. And if you like this channel, please support it. And uh, thank you for joining me. Good luck out there and hope you catch some fish. Laters. So these, these ones have been uh, vacuum sealed already. Okay. Um, the thing is what you wanna do also, when you freeze them, okay, then you vacuum seal it. That way you don't crush the eggs. When they're frozen, it's hard to crush it, okay? But the key to um, reusing this again from a vacuum seal is you gotta snip this out. You gotta cut it out, release the air, okay? And that way when the liquid uh, expands, it doesn't crush the eggs because it's in a vacuum seal. So you gotta, you gotta cut this, you gotta cut it and then thaw it out.